Hey guys, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning, here tonight to chat about this new Margot Price album. That's how rumors get started. Margot Price is a Nashville-based singer-songwriter. She's been at it for a few years now. She debuted in 2016 with Midwest Farmer's Daughter. Uh, at the time, I really wasn't listening to a lot of country. I kind of wrote this album off. Um, I wasn't into a lot of country, like I just said, and honestly, I didn't think that this album was going to sway me either way. However, I think her debut has a lot going for it. I like her very classy throwback appeal to the genre. There were some tear-soaked ballads and even some outlaw vibes in part. Was it a little clean for my liking? Yes, I usually like my country a little less polished. However, her next album, All American Made, really took me off guard because I liked this album a whole lot more. It had everything that showed up on her debut album, but it was more passionate and better written. Now, personally, I've enjoyed the hell out of these new singles quite a bit, actually. Uh, let's chat about this thing. This album starts off with its title track, That's How Rumors Get Started, and you know what? It's a very elegant, refined intro. I mean, it's far from her sort of outlaw vibes that were her debut album, but her performance is sweet and passionate, and more than anything, this is a very well-written track. Uh, spoiler alert, the songwriting on this album actually wins this album over for me, but for a super Super classy throwback country track with some singer-songwriter vibes as an intro, I think this track has a ton going for it. Now on the other hand, Letting Me Down is an absolute knockout. First of all, shout out to Sturgill Simpson for producing this album. Uh, he found a way to sort of modify her sound, bring it up to speed, but without really making it super glossy. And this here is just the crown jewel of the entire album. I mean, you could say that this is Stevie Nicks' Worship 101. It's a strong argument. As a matter of fact, you could say that about a lot of this album. But it's so catchy. It's so upbeat and a really great country sort of pop-tinged track. While personally for me, this is not exactly my kind of country music, I still think this is pretty solid for what goes for modern country. On the other hand, Twinkle Twinkle is a little bit more rough around the edges, a little bluesy. I mentioned earlier, Sergio Simpson did produce this album and his influence on this track is actually pretty strong. Here, Margot has some serious swagger to her performance. That attitude that came out on her debut and her follow-up shines beautifully here. And I haven't talked about Stone Me yet, but for my money, as far as a ballad goes from Margot Price, I think Hey Child is the best one here. This is genuinely one of the most emotional tracks here. Margot's performance is ridiculous. Not to mention, lyrically, this just sounds so close to Margot's heart. It once again does have that old school flair to it as well. It's wonderfully performed. I'm all in for this track, especially for a slower tune on here, which is honestly some of the album's downfall. Like I said, this may come as a surprise, but I'm really not that into Stone Me. There are some admiral elements to it. It's tender. Once again, it's well written. A lot of this album is. But for a ballad, honestly, I've heard a lot better from Margot, especially on the rest of this album. I just think this track is a little phoned in and I'm not that into the melody, but that's just me. I have a lot of the same feelings on what happened to our love. And it's a shame because, once again, I do like the broken down and bluesy vibe to this track. But compared to what makes the rest of this album so decent, this just seems, once again, phoned in and really cheesy. And it's just so slow, my god. Like I said, Margot's sort of poppier direction on this album is usually not the direction I go for it when it comes to country music, and this track right here is not really saving that for me. I will say this, though. I give credit where it's due. Um, the vocals towards the end of this track are some of the most ridiculously stunning here. They are absolutely awesome. And Prisoner of the Highway actually is my least favorite track here. Once again, there are cool elements to this track. I do like how bluesy this is once again, and the choir vocals are something that, personally, I always seem to pop for. But outside of that, this track is painfully average, and lyrically, I feel like Margot has written this exact same song a dozen times, and much better all of those times. Outside of that, though, this is a very solid album, and Margot Price continues to be one of the better figureheads in country and alternative country right now, especially in the songwriting front. Heartless Mind is a real interesting track. It's much more upbeat, it's much more triumphant, but it's also a lot more pristine. And you know what? That's something that I honestly really didn't think I was going to be into. But hell, you know what? The passion and emotion in this track and the great pacing sell it for me. And while we are far from where Margot Price was years ago when I first called wind of her, this is actually a pretty great sound for her. Gone to Stay may seem a little bare bones, but it's the sound that's worked for her on this entire album. Not to mention, as far as lyrics go on this track, this remind me very much so of the humble lyrics that appeared on her debut. 
Once again, I think she's just found a pretty decent medium. I wouldn't mind hearing more of this. And I'd Die For You, as a finale, is one of my favorite tracks here. Easily my favorite deep cut. For me, I love how gritty this is, and I love that bluesy riff. That is money. If she's going to continue down this more polished route, I think this is the way to go. Not to mention, from a performance standpoint, this may be her most emotional here. It just sums up everything I kind of like about this album to much bigger levels. So you know what? At the end of the day, this poppier direction from Margot Price I did worry about from afar. But honestly, as far as this poppier sound goes in country, while it's not for me, Margot did a pretty darn good job with it. Mostly due to some really passionate performances and some great songwriting. I, you know, don't think there's anything cutting edge. And some of the ballads here are pretty hard to sit through. But still, she's one of the more interesting faces in country and alternative country right now. And I respect the hell out of that. I'm feeling a decent destruction. Strong seven on this album but let me know what you guys think down below if you like the video be sure to give us a like give us a subscribe and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future and until next time have a great day guys